Got some good spring thunderstorms last night, that's for sure. But other than that, we have dried out and in the distance, you can even see brighter skies. So starting to bring out some bluer, bluer skies beyond those clouds and we'll continue to dry things out as we head into the next couple of days. Right now, temperatures hanging around 50 degrees, especially near that I-80 corridor, 49 degrees in Geneseo, 52 in Galesburg, 54 in Muscatine. Again, a little cooler off towards Highway 20 where we do see a couple more showers lingering around. Regardless so cooler air is definitely dropping down with some northerly flow and gusts getting as high as 25 to even 30 miles per hour right now. It's likely going to stay a little breezy going into tonight too. Here is a look at our 24 hour rainfall. It's nice to see at least all of us got some sort of rain. I think here in the Quad Cities, we ended up with just around three quarters of an inch, but to the south of I-80, that's where we saw the heaviest rain amounts. Kiwani to Galesburg to Burlington, a lot of one inch reports and higher. Burlington kind of being that hot spot on the map of getting anywhere of upwards about two and a half to maybe even three inches of rain. Again, some good rainfall for quite a few of us, but now we're going to start to dry those skies out. For the meantime, we do have that boundary that is just off to our north streamlining in a couple more showers, so we'll keep the a few showers chances on the board for some of our hometowns as we get into the rest of the evening and overnight hours. But regardless, all of our activity this morning and the cloud cover kind of shoved that severe weather threat well to our south. So we have this area of low pressure. You can see through Ohio, Indiana, southern Illinois, Missouri, all the way down to Oklahoma. That's where we see that complex that's going to continue to bring in severe weather for those parts of the air, uh, United States. But again, here closer to home, not really expecting too much more. So you can see where that severe storm threat is, again, extending all the way down to the south of us. And we've been completely taken out of our or those severe storm chances for today. So again, some good news there for us. We definitely like to see the showers, but not so much the severe storms. As we head into tonight, though, it's definitely going to get cooler. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s. Again, we could see a spotty shower for a few of us. Other than that, though, we'll continue to work on clearing out those clouds, bringing back some sunshine for your uh, Friday. We'll have temperatures in the upper 50s, nearing 60 degrees. Going to be pretty decent, shouldn't be too breezy, but definitely by Saturday, we're gonna bring back some clouds, partly cloudy conditions. We stay dry, but it's definitely going to start to get a little windier for us. So those breezier winds, again, not going to really be felt until this weekend. Saturday, we'll have gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. Sunday, around 30 miles per hour. So again, coming in from the northwest, that's going to kind of continue to usher in some cooler air. We'll see temperatures fall throughout the weekend. But St. Patrick's Day Parade actually looks pretty decent this year compared to last. The parade starts at around 11.30 a.m. and we're going to be around 50 degrees at that point. And we'll continue to slowly raise those temperatures to nearly 60 by the afternoon. Again, keeping partly cloudy skies around. I think the one nuisance for Saturday is going to be those breezier winds. But we do stay dry at least for the next several days. So we'll dip down temperature wise through Sunday and Monday. Work back some warmth by the middle of next week with those highs getting back into the upper 50s. But looking at that 14 day tracker, we do return a little bit of activity in that second week. Looks like we could bring in a more active pattern and a couple rounds of showers heading our way again for that second half of the 14 day tracker.